It's breaking news from the Bank of Canada. They have surprised the markets and raised rates by 25 basis points. You are seeing the Canadian dollar rally. The Bank of Canada increasing its trend-setting interest rate by 25 basis points. This was not consensus, though there certainly was an inkling that we would get interest rate increases this month. Even though there's going to be no press conference today to explain it and no updated economic projections. For that, we'll have to wait for July. But if you read the tea leaves, certainly this was in the offing. Economic growth had come in hotter than expected in the first quarter. For the second quarter, it is tracking above the Bank of Canada's own forecast. The most recent read of inflation went up. This against eight months of declines for inflation. The job market remains hot. Wage growth in particular remains hot. And then, of course, there is that housing market. That was all before the rate decision. Again, if you are just joining, the Bank of Canada has surprised the market by increasing interest rates by 25 basis points, taking the rate up to 4.75%. I'm going to uh, go through some of the details now, specifically the statement uh, to get to the essence of why they increased increased interest rates. It's a shorter statement than before. The Bank of Canada chose to increase interest rates. They talk about consumer inflation coming down, but that underlying inflation chains, trends remain stubbornly high. In the last statement, they talked about global trends coming lower. So they've had to acknowledge that underlying inflation remains stubbornly high. They also note, as I mentioned, that Canada's economy was faster than expected. And they reference that inflation ticked up in April. This seems to be the game changer and why they decided to move at this meeting, noting that the uptick that we saw in inflation for April was the first increase in 10 months, with prices for a broad range of goods and services coming in higher than expected. Based on the accumulation of evidence in which they reference hotter than expected economic growth and hotter than expected inflation, they decided to increase the policy interest rate, reflecting our view that monetary policy was not sufficiently restrictive enough. Now, typically, they give a sentence about what could be in the offing. Here, they say the Governing Council will continue to assess the dynamics of core inflation, evaluating whether the evolution of excess demand and inflation expectations, wage growth, and corporate pricing behavior are consistent with achieving the inflation target. So they don't hint that the next move might necessarily be an increase. In fact, they don't have that anywhere in the last paragraph. 